This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a GE refrigerator with the freezer on the top and it leaks periodically on the floor and this is due to a clogged defrost drain so we're going to correct that. We're going to remove this one quarter inch screw that's holding on the ice bin and once we get that screw out we can pull this ice bin to the right and that's going to release it and get that out of the way then we can start working on removing the back panel. I'm going to pull this rack out from those holes and we're going to remove a quarter inch screw up here holding on the back plate and we're going to pull this cover back We have to pry off this grill. You want to make sure you have it unplugged before you do all this stuff. So we get the grill off. You can now pull the panel toward us, and then there is one modular connector here that we have to get off. We push in on this tab, and we're going to turn this thing to the right by just a few degrees and then it'll release and then you can remove the whole panel there's this one green ground clip you want to pull that off so now you have access to the evaporator and this thing here is the heater rod so we have a bracket holding on the heater rod we want to pull that out and the heater rod so we have good access to the defrost drain trough and there's a hole right in the middle that we have to get some ice out of. So this is the heater rod and then you got this bracket you got to pull out also just to give you more room to work. The bracket holds the heater rod up from the trough. There's the bracket. This hole we see here in the picture in the middle that's where the ice is. So we're going to use a turkey baster in boiling water and we're going to pump the water in there and use the turkey baster to kind of push it around inside that hole until the boiling water will melt the ice plug that's preventing water from draining out. So you may have to do this uh, numerous times until the water can just easily drain through. You'll notice at first that it pulls up and you can take your turkey baster and just kind of suction back and forth to move that water around and create some downward uh, pressure too. And then you want to take the turkey baster and pull out uh, all the lukewarm water. I'm also using the turkey baster to put the boiling water onto the evaporator uh, ice that's built up. We want that to be as clear as possible. And then I'm going to pull up all that water and then get brand new uh, boiling water and repeat it maybe two or three times the whole process until finally the water will just flow through and then you know you're done. Usually this occurs because that heating rod doesn't get as hot as it used to. Um, all these heating type apparatus get weaker over time, but there's a trick you can do that you can either replace the heating rod or you can bolster its performance by using a copper wire to guide some of the heat from the rod down into that hole. It's really easy to do. So I'm just pulling out that lukewarm water now. And here I am bending the wire. This is really thick copper wire. Any uh, copper wire could work, but the thicker the better. I think I got it at the hardware store. So I'm putting a brand new boiling water in there. 
and then I'm going to do the same the same procedure. I'm going to slosh it around, and then uh, once it starts to drain, I'll go ahead and use the turkey baster to pull it out. I'm putting the wire now over the heating rod, and I'm crimping down with my pliers so that the rod won't move around too much. So I finally got the water to flow through, so now I can put it back together. So I'm putting the heating rod down into that hole, and then I'm putting the bracket in there to hold the heating rod in place. I'm using a screwdriver to make sure that rod is down inside that hole. I'm just pushing that bracket back in where it was. Okay, now I'm going to put the green uh, ground wire back onto the back panel and then I'll put the back panel, put the bottom of it in and then put this modular piece back in and then twist it to my left to lock it in. And then I can push the panel all the way into position. There we go. I'm going to put that grill back on and push in hard till it snaps into position. And I'll put the cover back on that. I'll put in that quarter inch screw back in. All right. And then we can put the bracket in. This is the ice bin. So I got the pieces on the left in position. And now I'm just going to put in that quarter inch screw to hold it. And we're done. So hopefully this will get rid of the leak on yours. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed. And also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.